Welcome. Let's solve this question on income tax involving reverse taxation. The table below shows income rates, uh, tax rates in Kenya in a certain year. So there's monthly taxable income in Kenya shillings, tax rate percentage in each shilling. Then the taxation bands are given there. During the year, Luanda paid a net tax of 5,449. Very important to note this. After a relief of 2,256 in a certain month, calculate Luanda's gross salary during the month if he enjoys a non-taxable travel allowance of 15,000. So to begin with, you given uh, the net tax, which is um, 5,449. In order to continue, we need, remember we are moving backwards from net tax, then we shall go to gross tax, then we get the taxation or taxable income. So the first thing that you're going to do using the net tax, we shall add the relief. And this will give us the gross tax. So net tax is there 5,449. So 5,449. So we add, we are going to add 2,256. And this will give us the gross tax. When you take uh, the net tax, we add the relief, we get the gross tax. So we add these very fast. So 54.49 plus 22.56, this will give 77.05. So 77.05. And this is gross tax. So after getting that, now we want to get the income that was taxed in order to get this gross tax. And we're going to go through the taxation bands. So for we shall have income or taxable income here. So taxable income. Then this end, we shall have the tax. So the first band, 10%. We have 10% of uh, that band is 16,000, 16,680. So when you do that taxation, uh, you'll get uh, 1668 Kenya shillings. So what are you going to do? We are taxing until that point that we shall have these tax 7705. So we've already got 1668. So you can see we need to go to the next band. So the next band, uh, the next band is um, we have uh, 16. So we need to get the amount in this band. This is how we do it 28,900 minus 16,680. So 16,680. So we want to get the amount in that band. So you just subtract 28,900. Subtract 16,680. 16,680. That will give 12,220. 12,220 in the second band. And that is a 15%. So 15% of uh, that band, we have already got 12,220. 12,220. So we get the tax paid in that band. So 15 multiply by 12,220. Uh, we divide by 100. That will give 1833. 1833. Now we are only remaining with one band. So the remaining tax. So we have so far we have uh, we need to get this amount. So when we add 1668. Uh, so 16. 1668 plus 1833. We get 3501. 3501. So we need to get the remaining. So the remaining tax 
this will go in the last band so the remaining we already we have 7705 that is the tax we need to get so far we have already obtained 3501 that is the tax that we have so we subtract so 7705 subtract 3501 that will give 4204 42 Zero four. So forty two zero four four thousand two hundred and four is what is remaining, and that is what is going to come here. Forty two zero four. That is a tax. That now when you add everything here, everything here should give you seventy seven zero five. And um, what we don't have is the income that was taxed in order to have this tax. That is four thousand two hundred and four. So we already have the the rate of taxation in that band which is 20 percent so we're going to do it like this eh? x or oh, we just me just go like this eh? so 20 percent multiplied by x we don't have that income that was taxed in order to give 4204 so we can solve this so 20 percent times x which will give 20 percent x is equals to 42 Zero 04 and this will give x will be 4204 multiplied by 100 divided by 20. So this will give the amount that will be taxed at that band to give 4204. So 4204 multiplied by 100, then we divide by. 20. We get 21020. 21020. That is the income that is going to come here. So 21020. So 20% 20 uh, multiply by 21020 will give this tax. So now in this, now we have the taxable income. So taxable income. Taxable income. Or what we call the gross the gross income will be given by now we're going to add uh, these 16 uh, 680 plus these this is the income plus these so you're going to add the three so 16 680 plus uh, 12 220 plus 21 0 20 so that will give the gross income. So we have 16, 680 plus 12 to 20 plus 21, 0, 20. This will give uh, 49,920. 49, 49,920. Now there's only one thing that is remaining. There is a statement here that you need to be very keen about. There was a non-taxable travel allowance. Non-taxable. Meaning that in the taxable income that we have already obtained, that is not included because it was not taxed. We have only dealt with the income that was taxed in order to get this tax of 7,705. So since this one was non-taxable, it was not involved during the taxation. So the total salary or the gross salary will have to add that non-taxable allowance. So we have to add that, uh, this is a, which type of allowance is this? Uh, it is a travel allowance. So travel allowance. This was not taxed, so we need to add it here. So we add this 15,000, so we add 15,000. This will be 4, and this will give 64,920. So therefore, the gross income, the gross income, we've already got the gross income. The gross income will be 64,000. 920.